Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at a little known indie horror game called Back in 1995. This is a retro PS1 style throwback survival horror game, hearkening back to the days of tank controls, fixed camera angles, and all that good shit. You know, like uh, old school Resident Evil, Silent Hill, those kind of games. It's a game that's piqued my interest. It's not a relevant game. It's not a game anyone's asked for. No one may even watch this. And frankly, from what I've read, opinions are mixed. This may not even be a good game, but you know what? I thought, let's just have a look. Why not? It could be fun. It could be entertaining. It might not be, but you got to try things, you know? you got to take a chance on things. And this piqued my interest enough for me to think, hey, I'm going to give this a whirl. It's allegedly only two to three hours, according to the Steam page, so let's fucking jump into this weird game. Alright? So I booted this up for about a minute, um, and in my time with this game, I noticed that A and B are reversed, so B was confirmed, and I had to fuck that off immediately. That's just a fucking headache. Um, my brain just wouldn't allow that, okay? And I believe this was made by a Japanese developer, and I think I might be wrong, but um, I believe confirm and back have always been the opposite way around. Might be wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. So that's why, but luckily I could change that back. It also had one of those CRT filters. They don't really cut it for me. They never have. I know they're kind of more authentic, but they kind of just give me a headache, really. So yeah. Chunky pixels in this game, for sure. I mean, that's what it's going for. I don't just want to rip this game to shreds. I want to give it a fair chance. But, you know, we will see. And it seems the voice acting is authentic to the era also. And here I am again in this forgotten place. How much time has passed since that unholy mess, I wonder. All this time, I've been trying to move on. But as much as I try, it just feels like I'm treading water. That tower. What, that fucking blocky mess in the background? All right. I can't really knock this game for being blocky. What it's going for. And the frame rate. My god, it's running at about 20 frames per second. I don't recall PS1 games running at such a low frame rate. I think, obviously, I'm from a power region. I think we had, like... You know, either 50 FPS or 25. Nothing quite this low. Maybe on the N64, eh? So yeah, in my brief time playing, I realized there's a key here. So I need this key. And my god, the tank controls. I don't think there's a run button, so get used to this walk. This guy does not move with any sense of urgency. And he should, you will see why. Through the door. Oh, my face is just a mess of pixels. PS1 games didn't look quite this bad, did they? I don't want to say bad. Oh. What the hell is that? That's a good question. It looks like a roast chicken that wants a boxing match. And... Oh, sweet. I unlocked the door with the key. This is the phone room. It serves no purpose but to house a telephone. It's not a great use of space, okay. I don't know what's going on in this universe. Wow. Ah, oh, so you finally come to. Hmm. I woke up lying on a hospital bed. A man who calls himself GP said he took care of me after I passed out on the roof. Wonder if those are his initials. Are you sure he's not just a GP, like a general practitioner? What? 
As for how I got to the roof, I haven't the foggiest. The monster I saw, he says they just showed up one day and they started attacking everyone. Oh, and to stay away from the roof, he says it's pretty bad up there. Which is why he's barricaded himself in the top floor. I told him I wanted to go to the tower and that if things were this bad, I just needed another way. GP says that all the buildings in this city were connected via wire, which were used by survivors to send each other supplies until help arrived. That doesn't sound feasible, but okay, unfortunately, the wires seem to be down. Just my luck. GP looked at me and said, for now, go to the roof and check on the AC unit. Cool, right, um, what's this? Sure. Okay, we'll save. No limited saves or ink ribbon nonsense, I see. That's alright then. What's this? Pipe wrench. The attack button. Right. Could you be more specific? Okay. The X button. Wow. Wow, that's a long animation. Okay. To the roof and check on the outdoor and the music just abruptly stops there take a left as soon as you're out on the roof it'll be in the very back is this guy supposed to be australian grab that wrench next to the bed i'm getting like an australian michael kane vibe i don't know if that's the intention there and i got that wrench so we're good um, oh, he wants me to go to the roof to fix the AC for some reason. Might have missed that. Cool. Oh, more roast chickens. What What are they really, though? Onions? Or, like, hearts? Or, I don't know. I need to move, though. Fuck's sake. Right, well, they're not much of a threat, are they? Good. Precise. Just like Dark Souls, this. This is definitely the, the Dark Souls of PS1 throwback retro survival horror games. Alright. That'll do it. Okay, I fixed the AC. It seems there might be more pressing matters to deal with, but... I'll fix your fucking air conditioning. All right, then. Okay, let's go check on GP. Definitely looks like a doctor, so... I don't think those are his initials, bro. I think that's just his fucking... You know, his you professional title. Ah, got one more task for you. Yeah, what would that be? Just as I thought I was free, GP hit me with another favour. I need these documents, you see, and I'm way too old to go get them. He seemed apologetic, but I was taken aback. I mean, documents at a time like this? He went on, go left once you're on the roof. And you'll see the emergency stairwell. Use it and you should be able to get into the lower floors. Right, I wasn't paying attention. That seemed like a good time to pay attention. The stairs on this floor were blocked by a bunch of lockers, probably to keep monsters out, which means it's not safe down there. I asked the old man, are those documents really that important? He just nodded in silence. Guess I have no choice. Right. Okay. You want, you want some fucking documents, okay. Am I your fucking errand boy now? You think because you picked me up off the floor I can do your chores for you? Alright then. You fucker, what's over here? Ah, the loo. Alrighty then. Yeah, so movement's not very... What? Movement's not very intuitive in this game. It never was in these kind of survival horror games of the, of the age, but... I don't recall them being this fucking clunky and chunky and... Such a low frame rate. Ah. Can't take a piss, bro. 
Okay, so I got some... Yeah. Take those to recover some health. Right, um... Is there any log of what was said? Go left once you're on the roof and you'll see the emergency stower. Okay, right. Good, I'm glad that there's a record of things like that because... When I read things out loud, I'm not actually processing what they're saying. I do struggle with that. Not gonna lie, creature design so far, not very impressive stuff. Like, really, you're just slow, bro. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. People say Dark Souls 2 is clunky. Okay, well, that was trivial and also rather annoying. Where's my quick turn, bro? I don't, why can't I just use the fucking analog stick? Doesn't give you the option. Just give me the option. I know there were like D-pad purists for tank controls, but I don't mind. A what? Oh my god. Oh my god, come on. Alright, three hits and they're done. Holy shit. Seriously, games of this time were not this clunky. They were clunky, sure, but this is on a whole other level. And this was designed in recent years. My god, what is this? Is this a plank? Oh, nothing that I can interact with. Oh, the doors are fucking... Ah, oh, don't mash A. You just have to wait there. It's not like A to check, A to back out the dialogue. It's like, press A and then wait a few seconds because this game wants to waste your time, alright? That is the impression I am getting. This, this game does not value your time. Everything takes a fucking lifetime to do. Look at this. My god. Could you swing... With some urgency, please. Maybe I need to upgrade my strength so I can two-hand it. Wait a minute, this isn't Dark Souls. I wish it was. Alright, I love that. Aim with aim and shoot with attack. Right, well, what what is what? Tell me. Alright, show. Sure. Ooh. Look at that. And, oh, well, I know what attack is. There doesn't seem to be any way to orientate my aim. At least, uh, up and down. So, whatever. But to provide a little bit more context, I will randomly pick games and cover them, whether they're relevant or not. I'm not doing this to jump on the hype train of certain games. There will be games that I cover when they come out. Resident Evil 3, I think, is a good contender for a game that I will cover on release. But, you know, again, I didn't start this to become the next Markiplier or anything like that. I just want to do it for fun, so... You know, I got no qualms jumping into a ridiculous game like this. Just because. Just because I feel like it, whether anyone will watch or not. I should probably do something about these guys. I don't feel the need. How do I equip it? Okay, that worked somehow. There didn't seem to be any confirmation. Yeah, I don't... Oh, my God. We're going to be here all fucking day. This is not good. Not good. Fuck, I don't care. I don't care. Just fucking die. Oh, how much health do you have? Oh, he's done. Wow, nearly died there. That would have been embarrassing. Items. Wow, they don't... Well, they're gone. Okay. That was mostly an issue with my lack of patience for this game. I could have handled that way better. I stood in their face and just tanked their bullshit, alright? Because... Fuck me. Although... Right, let's, let's try not to just piss all over this game. This was probably some Japanese develops life's work. Maybe not, but... Clearly a project of passion from someone that loves survival horror. So... Let's talk about some good things. Uh, I like the music, I guess. 
Um, that might be it so far, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, well. And what am I... Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't even know. 437. That's probably of significance. It's looked. I think you mean locked, bro. What was that number? 437? Yeah. Alright, well that was easy. Dr. Randall holds key to solving world's energy problem. Dr. Randall from the UK1K Foundation's research lab proved the existence of beings beyond the third dimension. Ooh. Roast boxing chickens. She also said the following about her next research. The latest data suggests that our world was only two dimensions until just recently. Will it turn into four concepts like recently and hereafter exist on a time axis that is unrecognizable by us? Sounds like a load of fucking waffle. Don't buy any of it. Okay. There's a note written in the whiteboard. Top sales this month. Is this relevant? Um, uh, it probably is relevant, isn't it? It's going to be like relevant for a puzzle. Unless that's their way of just fleshing out the law. I need to know who the top salesman was. Alright. It's important. I guess we go up again. I don't really know. This does seem quite linear so far. What are they? Feet? Um. I don't really know what they are. Again, they don't pose too much of a threat, so... Um, I... Not the same code again, is it? I have to try, alright? No, it's not. Um, I guess we don't have the... Man, I keep looking at blocks of pixels thinking they're items. There's just so few pixels, it's hard to distinguish things. <coughs> oh boy. No, thank you. Let's at least equip our weapon first. What does that say? 33 super. Alrighty then. Right, that's equipped. There's no confirmation sound or anything there. What's the... There we go. No. God, sorely lacking a fucking quick turn. Well, how many bullets did I just shoot? What? Dude, I don't know. That was that felt like I shot him like five times. Um. Okay. Well, they go down pretty easily. I don't need to worry about these demon feet, I suppose. Or maybe I do. Oh, I'm on a computer monitor. Is there a reload button? Probably not. What the fuck is this? Oh. This guy can't just push a fucking desk chair out of the way. You're pathetic. Okay, they don't seem to be interested in attacking me. I, that's not an item that I need. Is there any purpose to this room? There fucking better be. I hate that in survival horror games. I mean, it's not common, but if you ever go into a room, you know, burn through some of your resources and there's just nothing. You didn't need to go there. You just wasted your ammo. I fucking hate that. That appears to be the case in here. Holy shite. Oh, man, I don't know. Okay, goodbye. Doesn't appear to be a map system either. Okay, um, have we been everywhere? No, I haven't been in here. Oh. Ominous music, back off. This guy's just taking his type. Oh. What? Was that a reload animation? That's generous, calling it that. Okay, they don't... Do I fire two bullets at once or something? I don't know. 
Something fucky going on there for sure. Did I come in here for some lore? No, it's got to be the, the combination to that room, right? So it's one of those numbers. Is one of those guys also employee of the... Wow. No, it's, it doesn't have a note system. So it's one of those combinations, right? I guess. Let's just try it. I'm not going to lie, guys. Don't have uh, the fucking faintest clue what's really going on here. Maybe that's the point. All right, I'll try 151. One. That's not it. 213. Not it either. 257. It's none of those. It is none of those. So what was the purpose? Of that fucking bit of paper. Have I tried these doors? I don't know if I have. That's good. I want some ammo. More ammo over there. Of course, this guy's a lumbering fucking idiot. He can't just climb over things. Seriously, what a useless fucking protagonist. You're wasting your own time, buddy. Just fucking kick those filing cabinets down or some shit. You don't work here. Okay, so I must have missed something. That, that bit of paper's got to have, you know, some significance. If it doesn't, then... Oh, there's just numbers littered everywhere. Four. Four what? And then what? And what am I to do here? I don't know. What's that? All right, yeah. Really hard to fucking distinguish things. A painting on the desk. Four. Okay. But what does it mean? So I assume that they're not going to have anything too important in, in notes if there's no system to actually catalogue them. At least I would fucking hope not. Number four. What? What's going on there? You ever been too close to a door that you couldn't open it? Fucking hell. Holy shit. They couldn't have added a sprint button, no. No. Games of this era had a fucking sprint button. Get the wrench out. This might be cruel. These guys are just going about their life. Nice swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Okay, don't think that achieved any... Right, I need to... There's got to be something of worth in here. There has to be. Oh! Double kill. Seriously, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fucking hell. What a fucking disaster. Okay, goodbye. Alright, I guess we go back downstairs. There might be some... Yeah, that's not operational. There might be some stuff we missed. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm a lot of things right now, okay? This game is... It's something, alright? It is something... I must have, I wouldn't have gone upstairs without first coming in here. Right, okay, let's read this fucking note again then. Oh no, that's, this is just lore, right? I'm just going to wait for the Varty Vidya lore video on this game, okay? I, I don't, don't want to waste my own time. I just, what is, what is the purpose? I guess it's to flesh out the, the universe as being like, you know, living and breathing. Believable, but... As someone that is just playing through this game, I don't care who gets a fucking pay bonus at the end of the month. Couldn't give a shit, alright? Okay, we're back in this room. I checked over here, did I not? 
Oh, what is that fucking garbled mess? Who knows? Couldn't tell you. Maybe this game looks better if you squint at your screen. I don't know. Oh, and that's warped to fuck. I know that we're going for that, but I think they've overdone it there. I must have seen this already. Fucking hell, could that take any longer? I should have escaped when I had the chance. If only I had known this is hell. Everyone who stayed behind is dead or dying. I probably won't last much longer. Why the hell did I come here anyways? Good fucking question. Right, guys. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to call it there. I think... I think I need to go to bed, right? Although, I think this has been fun. I've had fun. I couldn't tell you if this game's any good, though. But uh, let me know if you've enjoyed this, and I'll keep playing it. It shouldn't take too long. Although it might at this rate. I'm clearly, you know, not proficient in commentary and survival horror combined. Although, can we really call this survival horror? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. It's fine, though. It is what it is. Anyway, guys. Um, see you soon. Goodbye. Let's save first, shall we? Farewell. Q-Riff. Headbang.